Okay, I have the elevator door behind me and I'm on the very top floor, which is four stories up because there's parking underneath. And um, this is the kitchen it's directly in front of you when you come off the elevator. It's dirty. I mean, it needs it needs clean and it's kind of like that house we stayed in in Florida. You know, it's like just have a little basic level of grunge. Um, and then if I pan to the right, this is the dining room area and there's a nice pool table here. The floor has got some cracks where um, your daddy said it looks like probably people have dropped pool balls um, on the tile. So the tile is cracked. And I'm feeling a little bit of movement when I walk. Um, I guess maybe it's because it's a raised beach house. It's just feeling, I, I, I definitely would want an inspector to check it out to make sure it's structurally, it's good. And it's just real slight. And like I said, it may just be normal in a raised beach house. I, I do know I feel more movement when I show raised beach houses. But anyway, it's got this little business center kind of a thing over here. And then there's a big storage closet here. So let me pan back around. Hi everyone. Okay. And you can see the ocean from up here, from the kitchen. Just a little blue there between the buildings. And of course, right down the street, you can kind of see that colorful top of that building. That's where the arcade is and the hot dog stand and the live bands every Thursday night in the summer are down right down there in the horseshoe and then Main Street's just of course a few streets over. What you're seeing below me is the overflow parking lot for Pepper Tree Resort, which is a timeshare building over on the boulevard. And um, I'll do some pans of the surrounding properties too once I get outside. So this is your stairwell if you take that instead of the elevator. And then this would be the main living area. Nice big flat screen. And then coming around. And this is the laundry room. And there's an extra refrigerator freezer in here. Electrical panel, washer dryer. And then the furniture is worn. You know, but I don't know that there's anything I would replace if I was going to keep it on the rental program. Here's another full bathroom <clears throat> up here. We've seen a couple of um, water stains on the ceiling. Nothing um, huge, but just a couple of small things. Like there's one there. There's one in the uh, in the kitchen in here. Some little separations of the of the. Uh, trim, which is probably just from some overall settling water stain there. There's one there that's kind of been painted over. But, all right, let me take you out on the balcony of this floor. This is dirty. Ugh. Okay. All right. There's the water tower from North Myrtle Beach. And then directly below is the pool. There are six HVAC units for this building. Okay. And if I come to the end here, we've got the view of the ocean rise and there's a public beach access right there right where I've got the um, camera pointed so we can just take that side street there straight over to the ocean okay there's a repairman here doing some uh, basic work from the damages from the storm and stuff and the uh, owner told me that they do it every year this time of the year they just do some overall maintenance stuff so all right let's head down to the third floor Thank you. 